In part D, it says, is the rate of change of the number of fish in the lake increasing or decreasing at t equals 5? Okay, so first of all, it's really important to recognize that we're being asked for if the rate is increasing or decreasing, or we're looking for the change of change. Okay, this is essentially the second derivative, but in this case, since the e of t and l of t are already rate functions, we just want the derivatives of the rate functions. Okay. We also want to know if it's increasing or decreasing. So when we put these two rates together, we want to see if the overall rate is positive or negative. If it's positive, it's increasing. If it's negative, it's decreasing. So the first thing we'll do then is, once we recognize that we need the derivative of the e of t and l of t functions, I'm going to differentiate these. So I'm going to get e of t is equal to this is going to work out to be 15 cosine of 6 pi t. And then using the chain rule, I'm going to multiply that by pi over 6. Okay, and I can plug in the value at 5, e prime at 5. And that's going to give me a value of negative 6.8017. Okay, so that's the, the rate of change of the entering the of the fish entering the lake. So finding out the same thing for L, I need to find how the rate is changing. So I need the derivative of L. When I differentiate this, I get 2. 0.1 t squared and then multiplying this by log since it's not a base log 2 since it's not a base 2 function so it's not a base e function so we need to account for that and then I'm going to multiply using the chain rule 0.2 t and then I'm going to calculate L prime at 5. Okay when we do this we get 3.9 Two one zero. Okay, so we could also have done this without the derivatives. We could have just plugged these into the calculator using the, the derivative function on the calculator and got these same two values. Now, what we need to then compare is the overall rate, okay, the overall rate Okay, it's going to be the entering, so e prime at 5, minus the leaving rate, l prime at 5. That's going to give me the overall rate, so negative 6.8017 minus 3.9210. The overall rate works out to be negative 10.7. Looks like 7228 approximately. Okay, so I'm just going to round that to 73. 72223. And the fact that this is less than zero and it's negative means that it is decreasing. Okay, so less than zero, therefore, it's decreasing. 